Welcome back. Uh, let's invite the management of Kirloskar Pneumatic. This is a company which makes compressors, which are used in automotive, in the food and beverage industry, and many others. The company saw their net profit and EBITDA rising on a year-on-year -year basis, but the revenues have fallen by 1.2% on a year-on-year -year basis, and even the nine-month revenues are down 5%. We're now joined by the managing director of the company, Mr. K. Srinivasan. Uh, Mr. Srinivasan, you know, morning. Uh, this is Reema here. First, if you could explain this uh, drop that we've seen in your revenues over the last nine months. I understand Q3 is a slower quarter and therefore it may impact the performance in the December quarter. But over the last you know, nine months of FI24, your revenues are down 5%. What could you end FI24 with and when do you expect that growth will come back? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, our revenue in the first nine months is down by about 5%. Uh, in absolute value, it's about 45 crores. Um, really, uh, if you look at our exports last year, it was about 152 crores at this time in nine months, and this year it's about 52 crores. Really, the biggest fall is in exports, and almost all of it is to the MENA region. Last year, we had significant number of packages going into the oil and gas sector in the western part of the world, and that part is now uh, going through a bit of a slowdown. And obviously, we didn't have orders for this during the first nine months. We expect to close the year still with a growth as near to double digit as possible. Uh, we think uh, we, we already have the orders. We are building up the packages. And we have a significant uh, dispatches to go out in Q4. So we should be very near a double digit growth for the food year. Uh, that's broadly what I would uh, like to say. Yes, going forward, we have over 250 crores of order extra as of now. We have about 1,546 crores in orders, which will allow us to have a significant growth during the next year. Hmm. Mr. Srinivasan, hi, good morning. Can you just elaborate on uh, then the industries? Because you're saying that overall for the full year, you should still grow in uh, in high single digits, you said, if I got that right? Almost near double digit. I, I, I probably near, okay. plus minus on that side. So 10 ish. Okay. Yeah. Near, near double digit growth for the full year. So uh, just give us some color between uh, exports and domestic. What is the breakdown in the revenue mix? And also, yeah. which are the geographies where you're seeing a pickup? And, uh, you know, is, is the Middle East still a lag, for instance? And which are the export geographies that are still a little problematic? We are not a big exporting company. We do packages for oil and gas sector for exports, uh, and hence the business is a bit lumpy. Last year, we had an export of about 170 odd crores. This year, we're likely to be less than 70. So that's a big gap that you're seeing. Next year, also would be relatively muted, maybe about 100 plus. So these are packages that go, and these are long cycle items. Now, the domestic market is buoyant both oil and gas as well as other sectors. So we would have significant growth coming up in the domestic market, which will compensate not only for the fall in exports, but as well as get us the growth. Uh, we see this continuing for next year as well. Okay, mm. just to complete that picture and understanding the business momentum, uh, if I could understand, uh, what levels do you operate your plants at right now? Blended capacity utilization, what would it be? Yeah, so if you had to look at our business, we have compressors, we have compression systems. The compressor business, we're running at about 80% plus. The compression systems, we are running at about 50%. We can do a lot more in the compression systems. So these are the big, large packages that we get, and they're long cycle. They can take anywhere between uh, 8 months to 14 months. There, we would be happy to have more orders coming in. Uh, we have some visibility of these orders in the domestic market, largely going into the ammonia plants that are being set up for import of ammonia, because as you all know, the import of urea fertilizer is likely to be phased out by 2025. So there's a lot more ammonia coming in. And we are big in setting up the refrigeration operations for the ammonia plants in the port. And we're doing quite a bit of work in that space as well. Mm. Uh, so just getting back to your aspiration to achieve a close to 10% revenue growth in FI24. To do that, your Q4 revenue has to be close to 500 crore, if not north of it. And this is substantially higher than the 300 plus that you've done in Q3. So can you tell us in two, three reasons, what drives this optimism that you will be able to achieve a 500 crore plus top line in Q4? Yeah, we have more than 500 crores of executable orders under work for the Q4. 
Uh, we have quite a few packages that have to be dispatched during this quarter. Like we mentioned, that we have been running our plants flat out. We didn't take our usual Diwali block closures, etc. We are prepared for a 500 crore kind of a number for Q4. All that I'm looking forward to is clearances at site for these to be dispatched and commissioned. But hopefully this should also come through. So you're quite confident of getting there. And what about your margin aspiration of 18%? Because this quarter you've fallen short of it at 17.1. What's the outlook yeah, on margins? So if you look at the compression segment, which represents 92% of our business, the uh, margins was above 18% as it is this quarter. We expect the company's margin also to move directionally towards 18. We may not reach 18 in this year, but definitely we would be very near 18 during the next year. Okay. All right, sir. We'll leave it on that note for today. Thank you very much for joining in and giving us an update on the business. That's Kirloskar Pneumatic. Let's. Uh